It is one of the Hazleton area's biggest Halloween events, the Trail of Treats at City View Park. Here to tell us all about this fun and tasty event is <laughs> Allie McKittrick. She is Hazleton's Parks and Recreation Director. Allie, you do a fantastic job with this. This has really grown over the years. This has become extremely popular. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually become one of my favorite events of the year. I think a big part of that is because the families come out, you see so many kids smiling, and I love seeing the costumes. They're, they're different every year and really unique. They're getting better and better every year, I gotta say. I, I believe it. I mean, I've seen some of these kids' costumes. They're unbelievable. So how many people do you think Estimate came out last year? How many people? I mean, I would estimate somewhere around 800 hundred kids um, so then you add in their their you know parents grandparents or whoever it is that brings them and so it adds up to I mean maybe more than a thousand people um, you know come out so it's yeah it's really popular it's just it's fun there's a lot of smiles it goes fast it's only 1 to 3 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon so it's really nice it's not dark out yet or anything there's just so many really great things about it and that's important to bring out. This is a safe Halloween trick-or-treat event because it is in the daytime and the police are there and the different vendors are there. Everything's all in one place, like they all set up their own little areas and that. So you have a lot of sponsors though that make this possible. So it's really built by, by the community for the community because it is. there's a lot of um, different booths. Last year we had 50 different booths um, and that represents a, you know, a lot of different organizations, businesses, things like that. Um, that are, you know, just showing their support for the community. And I, I, I really love that because if you don't know, let, let's say you don't know there's a certain kind of hairdresser or something like that in the community, a dance studio, whatever, um, you're going to get to know that those things are in the community. So it, it's like, it kind of helps both, both sides, you know. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. Fun. It's publicity for the businesses. People get to learn about them, yeah. seeing I mean, them there. Make these lasting memories and and the sponsors. We really we couldn't do it without without everybody together. But we really do appreciate our sponsors. They they push the event forward for you know all the extra little things that we need. So now this is happening Sunday, October 27th from 1 to 3. As Ali said, the rain date is November 3rd, but hopefully the weather, fingers crossed, will be great. Yeah. So when people get there, how does it work? What do they do? Well, they show up. A lot of people um, will dress up. We do encourage people to dress up. Um, I would say you come a little early and and you get in line first. And we, we start the, the trail exactly at 1 p.m. So we let people start going. But um, all the booths and everything set up a little earlier. So everybody's ready to go at 1 o'clock. Um, and you pretty much just go from booth to booth. And you might talk to people. And, and the kids will get a little candy. And maybe the adults will get a little uh, promotional material or something like that. Um, and it's just it's fun. It's fast. It's easy and I think everybody should come out. <laughs> Why? This is like one of a number of events that you've been doing. The concerts in the summer, a yeah. total success. Yeah. Why is it so important for the mayor of the city, you as the rec director, to want to do all of this? I mean, I think it reminds the community that we are all in this together, we're having fun together, and there's so many, I mean, I, I know I have a lot of memories from this particular season, like Halloween, and you have memories of whether the costume that you pick out or the people that you see, and this becomes a life, you know, lifelong memory for these kids. And so, and, and, and for their families, I mean, it's something that everybody can do together, and I, I just always enjoy that part of it. So now who is eligible to come to this? Do you have to live in the city of Hazleton? How does it work? No, it's really for, um, I mean, we, we say like, you know, maybe Greater Hazleton, um, but really anybody could come. So if you happen to be visiting your family and you live in Delaware, just come on over. <laughs> just bring your kids, really. It's just, it's really, um, it's really centered around, you know, kids, but definitely like families and everybody could come out and enjoy us. Enjoy this. And, and the great thing is that, again, it's safe. And if somebody is new to the area and they don't know where to go trick-or-treating, this is like the perfect outlet for it. it. They can come. Yes, absolutely. I think so. I mean, and... I like that, like I said, I like that it's during the day because sometimes you don't, if you're going to different neighborhoods, you don't know, you know, um, how to get around or whatever it is. Sometimes there's one way streets and this and this, but this is just one long, happy little trail. And it just makes it easy for parents and, um, you know, families to do this t together quickly. And the kids, of course, get their candies and their treats, which they love. So that's always nice. 
And they get a lot of candy. So don't think they're being cheated. They're getting a lot of candy. <laughs> and so this is uh, a safe alternative to trick or treat, but you also have Hazleton's safe trick or treat, which is happening on Halloween night from 5 to 8 p.m. So yeah. you want to make sure the city's safe, that the kids can go trick or treating if they want to do both. Um, I also wanted to mention this year we have a surprise at the end of the trail. Um, so it is a surprise. We're not mentioning what it is just yet, um, but we're hoping that, that that's going to be a nice um, little bonus for people once they, they get to the end of the trail. Ooh, you want to find out with that. I'm curious now, too. I'll have to go. Maybe Kenny Kerr and I can dress up and go I so. <laughs> and get our little bags of candy. Kenny, what do you think? <laughs> and we'll find out what the surprise is at the end of the trail. So it's all happening. The Trail of Treats at City View Park. That is on uh, Poplar Street in Hazleton, if you don't know where it's at. It's plenty of parking. It's easy to get to, easy to find from 1 to 3 p.m. on Sunday, October 27th. And then again, Hazleton's Safe Trick or treat night on Halloween night from 5 to 8 p.m. You just want everybody to have fun at Halloween. We absolutely do. Yeah, it's a great holiday. It's a great time. The weather's usually really nice, holds up, and it's just it's fun to be outside. Hope this is your best uh, trail yet, and I hope it's a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you so much. Appreciate you saying that. Hope you guys come out.